Hi, this is the uh, example with the four segments with the seven segment display library. I've just got a couple of meters out here as to help me explain uh, a couple of things to do with the interrupt routines. So basically in the lead up to the other ones I've gone over how the, the different components work together. This uh, example is more uh, discussing the downsides of using an interrupt service routine. So using interrupt service routine means that the program, no matter what it's doing, it's going to be pulled away and it's going to then service the segment multiplexing. And in some cases, uh, especially when you've got full segment displays that are all being updated every five or so milliseconds for each one, you all of a sudden you've generated a very large delay uh, if you were using any other loops or coding in your program that generates delays. So here in the uh, program itself, uh, I've just set up the the pick micro number of segments is four, uh, defined where each uh, segment is, and uh, yeah, the data lines are on port C. Included the library, uh, declared a variable, and reset it down here. Well, everything to do with port B pin zero is acting like a uh, a signal, like a pulse generator, so I can actually determine how long this, uh, it, how much it's affecting my program by having an interrupt service routine uh, multiplex for displays. So I'm only delaying for 10 milliseconds, so a short period of time, and pretty much in one second, this should, this routine, theoretically, should occur 100 times exactly. But because there's multiplexing going on in the background and it's uh, interrupt driven, while this is do in doing a delay, uh, going to my seven segment program, the default time period for four displays, this is the, uh, the section of code that determines the amount of time for each display. So it's four, meant to be four milliseconds per display. That means that twice, at least twice during this 10 millisecond delay, this seven segment library will service the whole on timer event from here all the way down to here and execute all of this code and then come back and continue the millisecond delay so it's gonna gonna take a little longer than normal I'll compile it and uh, show you what it, what actually happens in the simulation so I'm gonna press play keep in mind there's a lot of number crunching and these numbers won't look very fluent because they're uh, it's just trying to show you an instance of time. This meter down the bottom is actual seconds, so it's where that pointer is right now is a decimal place. So you're at 0.4 of a second and 0.5. So this is the actual simulation time. This one here is the uh, is the frequency counter and how many times port B pin zero goes high and then low. That's our counter for our to see if it is actually occurring 100 times. And this frequency meter is telling me how often these displays, or one channel, is uh, being refreshed. Okay, so we're, we're, we have fallen short. It's on 85 uh, hertz, and it should be on 100 for port B pin 0, going high and then low. Because in our program, every time the uh, delay milliseconds of 10 occurs, I'm just sending a pulse through port B, incrementing a variable and uh, sending some data through. Our uh, frequency meter for our displays is running at about 62. So we could probably slow that down and bring it somewhere towards the 25 mark, 25 hertz. And to do that I'm just going to add an option into the uh, program. Okay so I've changed the, uh, I've added in the option to change the display interval to 9 milliseconds. So basically I've just more than doubled the amount of time between servicings or interrupts between each multiplex. So I'll compile that and go back to my simulation software. So it's running slow again, there's the decimal place just under the mouse pointer. Just coming up to half a second so it is simulating faster because there's less multiplexing going on. and we're up to 91 so by reducing the uh, the amount of 
the the number of interrupts that that occur have increased the efficiency of the code in uh in other aspects like where loops occur and long delays and it's uh being each or as it turns out this channel d seven is being multiplexed at twenty seven hertz which to the human eye all four of these displays would not be flickering they'd be steady uh values it's just that the simulation software just tries to show me an instance of time. Right, well hopefully that that explains how to uh how to work with the, the variables and the options available in the library. And any problems just have a look on the site or send me an email.